today on god wins with miss lena chow hi family so uh there's this assumption where people assume everyone who has acclaimed or rather professed jesus christ as their lord and personal savior have probably been through something or they have always been born again all their lives and they don't know anything that is on the other side of not being born again there's that assumption that these people don't know what it's like to be in the world they don't know how much fun you know it is being in the world without having christ and all the restrictions and all the conditions and everything else so there's that assumption that goes around a lot about people who were born again so today we're going to be tackling that assumption and we're going to be breaking it down accordingly and i hope we will get to interact more in the comment section on what your experience has been like on the assumptions of salvation as we continue with this episode so stay tuned so hello again welcome to god's god wins with lena with miss lena chow uh, this is a channel where we empower build equip each other to live a life that is full of victory in every area of our lives it's all about experiencing god wins in every area of our lives so i hope and i pray that we are in alignment and we are going to keep this hope alive even as we continue to encounter and conquer the enemy in every way that he comes knowing that we are fighting from a point of victory if you're new in this channel today or something like that feel free welcome subscribe and hit the notification button in order to get uh, notifications whenever we upload a new video and if you are not new in this channel and you are a uh, family well then let's keep this fire burning for Christ okay so uh, as I stated earlier today we're going to be tackling this assumption that uh, people who were born again have probably been in salvation all their lives they don't know anything about the other side of not being born again well 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 today i'm gonna share my own personal journey with christ for starters i was not born again all my life i grew up in a christian family of course and uh being young we were forced to go to church well it was not being forced per se but you live with your parents and whatever they say goes right so yeah i grew up in church i was very active in all the activities that kids do in church and i grew up with that church atmosphere around me and it was all i knew you know i didn't have the exposure at that time i was young i was a baby and i was in the village i grew up in a village so after that i went to high school when I went to high school, I had more freedom because at this point I was in boarding school. So there's no parent to tell me I have to go to church. I have to do this. I have to do that. So I think most of my um, high school, I really used to go to church. But at some point uh, in the third form, I think, or fourth form, I stopped going to church. And whenever Sundays came we would hide out in a very 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 comfy place we had created for ourselves it was a group of me and some other two girls i think we were two or three and there was this place we used to hide and then we had a radio so we used to listen to music and we just hung out and would not go to church ah yeah to kamaliza form four and i went back home so I went back home and from there, I never went back to church. Yeah, I know, shocking, right? I never went back to church. And I don't even have a reason why. 
I just didn't feel like going to church. So on Sundays, I would have my music on very high volumes and I'd be out there just having fun at home. And you know, my mom, I think you can relate with this. African moms don't like noise, but I was the opposite. I loved noise. So I would put uh, music full blast. My mom is in church anyway. I'm at home all alone. Uh, so I would just enjoy and you know like whenever I was in my village everybody knew that hey sh Lena is around Lena is around you know because I would play my music at the loudest volume and I would not be apologetic about it I love my music loud so yeah so that's how I stopped going to church completely and um, fast forward I went to campus and mm, I never used to go to church. At this point, I was busy doing very many other things, worldly things. I was busy. Uh, I was at that experimental age where you want to experiment everything. So uh, there was this assumption that I had, re I had already tested alcohol from some very close people in my family. So I thought, uh, after all, they, they already think I've tested it, so I, I might as well test. So what happened is, I remember I had not tested alcohol. So I remember this day we decided, I was with my cousin, cousin brother, of course. And we decided today, we're going to this specific club. And then we're going to, for me, that is, eh, I'm going to order different types of alcohol okay i'm gonna order them in the table and, and i'm gonna be testing each and every uh brand so that i can know which one to settle on eh? which will be my brand yeah i tell you the things that i've so to cut the long story short i did that and you know curiosity killed the cat I did that and I started drinking alcohol, I started clubbing with friends and just, you know, I was in the world, like a hundred percent in the world and it was quite a life. Um, right now I'm born again and I look back and I think about everything and um, I can't say I regret it because I can say I've learned a lot from my experiences back then. So the assumption that everybody who is born again, everybody who is busy doing ministry has probably been in ministry throughout their lives, they are probably there because they don't have any other choice or they have always been there, that's the only thing they know how to do. Well, I, I had to bust your bubble, but that is not true. And then after campus, I went off and i got a job i was still not born again but i knew god you know like i knew god i feared god but i was not born again but eventually i did get born again and i will share a testimony of how i got born again because that's another mind-blowing story of its own i will put it in the segment that i've just introduced called testimonies it's going to be part of a testimony that i'm going to be sharing in this channel so tune up tune up be tuned eh? you will you will hear it very soon yeah so i got born again and when i got born again i was so clueless i didn't know what to do what i was supposed to say you know but god was so so faithful as he always is and it's been an amazing journey it's been an amazing journey so that assumption should like get out of your system if you have such an assumption but at the at the same time people have different stories people have different journeys of how they got to this side of being born again there are those who have actually been born again all their lives and there are those who got born again after they grew up there are those who had very flashy encounters with salvation you know the cases of people like Saul who saw the light on his way to damascus you know there are people who have had such encounters yeah i will share my testimony i will so get <laughs> get uh, excited about that 
yeah so that is me tackling the assumption of people who are born again have probably been born again all their lives they don't know anything about the world well that's not necessarily true and i hope that like answers many questions we are in this journey of salvation not because we chose it but because god chose us he says in his word we don't choose him he chooses us and i will explain even further in my testimony why i'm saying what i'm saying because at the end of the day we don't choose jesus he chooses us first and then when he chooses us now we choose him and we walk with him and we know him and we get transformed by him and we become these beautiful creatures that just yeah speechless speechless so god bless you again for tuning in and i hope this nudges you to realize that salvation is amazing and awesome yeah so in the comment section you can share your experiences with assumptions as we continue to tackle the different assumptions that are there and if you know of any other assumption that i haven't tackled yet kindly share in the comment section and i will definitely uh tackle it otherwise let's continue being a blessing to one another let's continue building each other up let's continue to glorify god with our lives and our day-to-day -day living all right god bless